What is very clear is that transport resources are an indispensable addition in the fight against day-to-day -day crime as well as organized illegalities. This afternoon, we are gathered to witness the handing over of the resources that will prove very useful for the country's priority crime prevention. There is no doubt that these vehicles will have major impact in the fight against crime and will beef up rapid responses of the DPCI. As it has been said, there are 62. 40 of them are not marked and they are already dispensed. Dispensed, they are working on the field. Even these immediately, uh, Lieutenant General, they be immediately after they have been handed over, they should not sleep here. They must sleep uh, where they're supposed to, to the provinces and on the field. For the average man on the street, these may be the just cars. But for the DPCI and all of us in the environment, the ability to swiftly respond to intelligence, information, and act on the crime that is about to be committed. These vehicles can mean a difference between life and death. I was looking at the records of things that have been happening of late. I'm quite impressed about the, the track record of the Hawks. You seem to be doing very well. Uh, it's a beginning, we are in the middle of your work, but you need to do more and more and more. I, I would not stand here and lie. Criminals themselves, they do organize themselves. Some of them we find highly organized, which means we must be forever ahead of them. The first environment which serious organized crime investigation that talks to attacks on police officials. An attack on police officials is an attack on the state and the death of one police official who is a protector of all people in South Africa is unacceptable. Dear South Africans, while 22 police officials were murdered in this court, 12 on, of duty and 10 on duty, 12 arrests were effected. Furthermore, three accused persons were convicted and sentenced to share four life imprisonment and 38 years imprisonment. 